Alright, vlog time. So, I've been doing some no reset runs. They've been feeling pretty good. They've been feeling more fun for me than practice, even though I know that those runs are not going to be like really solid. It's just fun for me, so I do them. And it's been, I think, productive because I was a little bit depressed about speedrunning in general. Got stuff done. Got some runs. Got a 6.11, which is currently the best time, but it's nothing spectacular at all. So I guess the race is still on for sub-6. Huanti's been doing a lot of practice, but not runs. But I think that practice will put Huanti in a good position. And, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just creating a narrative. The race for sub-6, like it's a race. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but... But, um, it will happen, though. There's been some talk lately about using the Edge of Duality from Kami Tech to fight Koga, which allows you to get one cycles for the first two phases, which should save time, according to some people, and it sounds like an exciting thing to learn, because it changes Kami Tech. Because now it's not like, not only are you getting a diamond, but you're also getting a weapon, and the weapon's like, I guess you'd like bomb boost over like you normally do, but then run and drop down and get the weapon, and then like, supposedly, there's like a cryonis strat. I don't remember the layout of the shrine so well, so I don't know exactly where that would be. It might be close by to that area, but I don't remember. But it's something to look into. So that's exciting. Another thing too is Swiffy posted a video about like, going through the items really fast, to like, get faster scrolling. You basically like, start turning the camera for like one second, and then open up like swords, runes, or shields, and then hit the other direction, and it goes really fast, apparently. So, that was brought up, then SVA had like a really in-depth explanation of how it works, with like, it can work with different buttons and stuff, but apparently it's not that useful, and like, in the all-main quest speedrun, you're not like upgrading, you're not upgrading your weapon slots, so you're gonna only have like a certain number of weapons that you can hold. Certain, like a very few number of bows, you know, there's not that many runes, and like, you don't hold that many weapons. So, I think even with the faster scrolling, like, it still has a bit of a pause when you first, like, it's like you move one, and then it waits, and then it goes really fast. Kind of like how you press a key on a keyboard, and like, it types the letter, but then there's like a pause, and then it starts spamming the letter after that. There's like a delay. I think it's really similar. And so I think you can work around the delay by actually just spamming multiple buttons, because there's multiple buttons that work to um, scroll left or right through the items. L, R, Z, L, Z, R, and the right stick can all be used to scroll through. So I guess the idea then is that you just press multiple buttons quickly. It's probably the best thing to do if you know where your weapons are. I mean, we're at the point in the runs right now where it's like we don't really know like how to equip. You have to like open up your items and see which one you want. So like as it gets more optimized, it'll have better item management. But I don't have too much else to say. Um, I've been a little bit somber lately, but I'm glad I'm recording this because I'm sticking to my one a week thing, I guess. But I feel self-conscious and also I've been biting my lip. I've been biting it and it's it's really standing out on the camera right now.